I will be competing this year in Cr Where else would we be? What's up guys, Liam here, welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we are gonna be discussing my future plans. Something I've not spoken about on the channel for a long time, well, a long time, given this is a fitness channel. It's been a good six weeks, six to eight weeks. It's been a while since I've spoken about my training plan. My plans for training, my plans for diet, my plans for nutrition, for the foreseeable future. So we're gonna dive into that a little bit today. Drop this video a like if you are excited, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. The footage that you have just seen was me getting some steps in with Ella at the zoo, not just any zoo, Dudley Zoo. As you know, I live in Birmingham, so Dudley. Alternatively, you could sound like my mate, Tommy Shelby. No wait, he sounds more like Arthur. I can't do Tommy. So, initially, my plan was to to bulk for another few weeks, right? To just, well, I say bulk, I've just kind of been training and, and eating. I've been cleaning up my diet a little bit, but eating more calories, you know. You know that phase that you go into before you know you're gonna dial things in a little bit, before you know you're gonna have less takeaways, before you know you're gonna have like more cardio coming up and stuff like that. You go into that kind of phase where you just do whatever for a few weeks before that. When you don't take this seriously, right? When you know you don't have an off season, you just kind of like, I'll be dieting in a few weeks. It's all right. I'll lose it then. That's kind of the mindset, the mentality that I've had the past few weeks, um, and that has led to some good eating. It's also led to some good training. Numbers have gone up. Bulk has gone up. By bulk, I just mean like you know, uh, muscle mass and stuff like that. I actually believe it or not, had more compliments about my physique in the past few weeks since I've been eating more than I have done in like the past year of, of, of training at UFB. Funny that, innit? People are watching this going, yeah, it's because you're actually eating properly, Liam. Yes, I know, I know, I'm eating enough calories. And that's led to muscle gain. <laughs> Weird, right? So, calories aside, all of that stuff aside, what am I doing training-wise? Well, the past couple of weeks has been very difficult. Um, I've had no car, I've been using Ella's car. I've been having to temporarily insure myself on Ella's car. Mine's in the garage, I've got no car. Um, temporarily insure myself, I've had to be at her house, flat place more because of that, because I still need a car, but she needs it as well. So if I'm gonna have to get somewhere, I can't just Uber everywhere I go, you know? So I have to have a car. I, I'm self-employed, I need to travel for my job sort of thing. Um, so anyway, that, that's a story for another time, but I've, I've had to, taper down the training slightly because I've had less access to the gym, basically. I've had less access to UFB. Um, there is a gym that I could go to, but to be honest, it's kind of worked out that I've had more work to do at this point in time anyway, so it's kind of been all right. Like I've got lots of client work, lots of media work, which I'm very thankful for, but I'd, there's just not enough hours in the day for me to get it all done. There literally is not. I'm waking up at seven o'clock in the morning and I'm going to sleep, well, I, I'm finishing in the evening. You know, it's like, 
I'm doing my best. I've had that whole hard drive situation, the laptop's not being my friend at the minute. My job has just been very difficult, bearing in mind that fitness and training, and to a certain extent, is a part of my job. Um, so we're going to be training three to four times a week for the next, well, for the foreseeable until my car is fixed. And we'll go from there. For now though, we are going to be heading to UFB on that note. No, not in my car, but we're going to be heading to UFB. It's a long journey there and back from my current location. But we got to do what we got to do. We're going to get the job done. That is what we do here. Regardless of what is going on, we get it done. So I'm going to go, I'm going to film, I'm going to film what I need to film, I'm going to get it done, I'm going to get it done well, to the best of my ability, I'm going to focus on what I can control, and I'm going to home in on that, you know, I'm going to not focus on the things that are out of my control for now, we'll deal with that another day, I'm going to focus on what I can control, and I'm going to do my job, I'm going to do it properly, let's go, have a sick session, and let's go, make some sick content! Thor, Thor wasn't that, wasn't it? Uh, like, Thor wasn't that, you were doing game of Thrones and all that. Yeah. You know, like, you got this fucking thirty stone monster, jumps up with this little, little tiny guy, just holds him back with one hand. <laughs> Who wants to go? Yeah, I know. Come on, come on, come on, come on, try and stop me. That's stupid, isn't it? I think Eddie could have done without popping his bicep because personally, in that amount of time that it took him to recover and get ready for the fight again, to be honest, it kind of lost interest. They were supposed to fight like a year ago, and then he got delayed, and then he did his bicep. Sponsors, as you can see, so we'll be bringing a whole crew and we'll be giving out trophies on every class. So who can name what I'm wearing? I bet you can't. The reason I say I bet you can't is because one, it's a mismatch of, of items, of collections, and two, this is really old. Um, so if you can name this, let me know in the comment section down below. So to finish off today's video, I'm gonna go through a couple of things that I haven't yet spoken about. Um, one is how long I'm gonna bulk or continue just doing what I'm doing for. 
The answer to that has drastically changed purely because how can I explain it? I've never had a reason to get lean. I've never had a competition to get lean for. Since I've been training, I've only been on one holiday and I've only been training for about six months in that point in time. My starting point was first year fat. So like anything was, was, was better than that, you know? And I was happy with that. I've never had a reason to get shredded. I've never had a reason to be really freaking lean, you know? Any reason that I have dieted before, it's been because I've wanted to. It's been my reason to. That's not gonna change. However, the only thing that I have had is Christian Guzman's summer shredding competition. And ladies and gentlemen, that is coming back around in 2022. It was kind of low key last year, right? It was kind of, it was, kind of, it was a lot, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna say it, you know the reasons why. But it's coming back around again this year, big style. And I want in. Let's just shut this so I don't ruin my face like the rest of the clips. I want in because I need a reason. I need a purpose. I need a goal. I need a date in mind to stick to something. Because when you're just doing it for the sake of it, you can fall off. You can say, well, it doesn't really matter. Like, life gains over gym gains you know i'm gonna go for that cocktail date i'm gonna go for that dinner i'm gonna have that mcdonald's on a sunday morning when we're hung over you know it's like those kinds of things that you do give up when you are intentionally dieting for something you don't necessarily give up if you're not because life's too short otherwise you know I'm sure lots of you guys can actually relate to that. And that is something that I do, I'm not gonna say live by, but it's like, it's something that goes through my mind on a daily basis. Is that more important than losing a pound? Well, probably not, yeah, I'll, I'll just do it. You know, I'll have those experiences, I'll do those things. I'll remember that. I won't remember that I put on a pound because of it. You know, as long as you don't go crazy, I'm not just saying forget diet and forget training and stuff. Obviously keep everything in check, but I'm going off on a tangent. I will be competing this year in Christian Guzman's summer shredding competition. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Sadly, not in person. At least I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get that to that level of, of shredded. But the online competition that Christian does every single year, we are going to be taking part. I'm going to be filming my entry in the very near future. Physique updates will be coming. Diet videos will be coming. Just the whole process. I'm going to document this like I never have before because it's going to be the most difficult time for me to do it. I'm here, there and everywhere in my life at this point in time, right? I'm working crazy hours. I'm doing a lot of different things, right? There's a lot going on in my life right now. A lot of stresses, a lot of good stuff, just a lot of things that I can use as an excuse. This video is to hold me accountable to not use those things as excuses. I'm gonna be documenting the entire process for you guys. Summer shredding is here. 2022 is the year we bring the best physique that you guys have ever seen. The best LSJ you have ever seen. And that is that. I've said it. I've said it a couple of times, but I am putting it out there properly with a video titled something, whatever this video winds up being titled. I don't know. I've said it. That means you've got to do it. It's on the internet. So that's that. Whew. A weight has been lifted. I'm going to round off the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are still watching and you are not yet subscribed, please consider doing so. Drop a like whilst you are at it. Stick around. We can be friends. We can be acquaintances. You can use my code, LSJ, at checkout. Hey, I'll save you some money. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm excited to share this process with you all. In a couple of weeks, we will start to dial things in. More videos to come, more explanation to come, and I will see you all there. Together we will grow. Thank you all so much for watching once more. I will see you in the next one.